Good morning and happy Friday to you. Who's joining me live this morning on my doorstep? I've been out for a quick walk, it's really lovely. Um, it's um, it's kind of cool, but it's just so refreshing. I'm having one of those hot moments. So being out with, that, with my t-shirt on, it was so nice just to feel nice and cool. <laughs> oh good, there's somebody there, that's really nice. Oh, it's Andy, that's nice. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So, good morning, Margaret. Good to see that you're there. That's lovely. So, happy Friday to you. I hope that uh, your Friday is as lovely as it looks here. It's going to be a busy morning at Way to Fitness. I am doing um, on the, um, oh yes, hi Margaret, on our Live Fit page. We are talking all things vegetables at 9.30. Hello, Sarah. Um, and um, hi, Sharon. Yeah, we're talking all things vegetables um, on the Life Fit page at um, 9.30 because we know that somehow including them in lots and lots of your meals will help you so much uh, in so many different ways. There are some of us who are trying to get rid of a bit of um, um, lockdown. <laughs> I was going to call it something, I can't call it that. I think Andy called it his COVID kilos. That was a nicer way. <laughs> Other people have, have um, suggested the extra weight they've got. They've called it lockdown lard. <laughs> There's lots of different ways to describe the fact that some of us have got larger waistlines than we did five months ago. Good morning, Lorna. Good morning, Sharon. Um, so, but the vegetables, we're, we're going to talk about at 9.30, is, is going to be um, a real key uh, to... Um, to helping you make some better food choices and hopefully make your clothes fit a bit quicker. So we're talking about that at 9.30. Um, it's Pilates for me this morning at 10 um, and I'm making some final touches to our Lift Lean Strength Programme that starts on Monday. Starts on Monday. I'm going to be delivering the classes live at 8 o'clock in the morning but they'll be recorded on our Lift Lean group so people in that group can watch these um, exercise sessions and do them with me at any time that suits it. If you're um, a night owl and you're really not up and about and ready for anything at 8 o'clock in the morning, then you can do the sessions whenever you want. Um, obviously, it's uh, Legs, Bumps and Tums tomorrow, which is Saturday. And uh, that's as usual at 10 o'clock. So lots and lots going on here. I put a little post on this morning about um, remind yourself to... Um, today I'm not going to worry about things that I can't have any control over. And I think it's... Good morning, Michelle. I think that's a really good thing because um, there's an awful lot of stuff in the air at the moment, isn't there? There's a lot of stuff that really we're not really sure about. Um, I went out yesterday um, and had lunch with my mum and my sister, which was fantastic because I haven't seen my sister for months. Um, and it was really lovely. But everything's slightly different in, you know, you go into the cafe and it's all different. And you know what? It can be quite sort of anxiety inducing, can't it? What can I, can I do this? Can I do that? And that's kind of how I feel about, you know, um, moving forward and doing sort of sessions people are asking me or oh, when are you going to do this Emma when are you going to do that do you know what I don't know the answer is I don't know I don't know when I'm going to start live classes again because the guidelines are so complicated the social distancing the halls aren't available you know there's all these uncertainties um, and I'm trying to sort of be a bit of a swan about it and just let just glide and not stress about it all but I do understand when people say that they just yeah, they could feel a bit anxious about things. So I think that little um, quote about not stressing about things you can't do anything about is is really, really good. And I think um, I think it was uh, Tracy was saying she's got it on her door at work. Um, and, you know, we have to just manage what we can manage. And um, stuff that is beyond our control, not even going to give it the time of day. Although, you know, if it will be easy to, but we have to make a conscious decision not to. And you know, um, move on at a pace we feel comfortable with, whatever that might be, whether or not it's family stuff, work stuff, you know, uh, we need to look after ourselves because our state of mind, our mental health is really, really important. And uh, we certainly don't want to get overwhelmed with options. Yeah, options, it's options, isn't it? Uh, okay, so I hope that this lovely, lovely Friday, you have a great day and you have a superb weekend. I haven't, I don't look at the weather, weather forecast, but I hope it's going to be dry. That would be nice. Although the gardeners amongst you would be saying, we need rain, Emma, we need rain. Um, the um, the geraniums and the marigolds are doing beautifully here. Andrew Percy Thrower Healy is doing a fabulous job. And we've even been eating some of the vegetables he's grown. Yeah, we've had like little pea things. Hi, Dawn. Uh, they're not 
Uh, they're not peas with a great big pea in the middle. They're a bit like mange too. We've had those. That's lovely. We've had black currants a few times and I've actually made black currant scones. They were amazing. You wouldn't eat because you've got the little bite of the slightly bitter berry. It's really, really tasty. I can recommend black currant scones. I know it sounds bizarre, doesn't it? Uh, what else have we had? Casper is slowly taking every apple off the apple tree, thinking it's a ball and wanting to play. So when you go up the garden every day, you hear him going <laughs> as he's pulling a little branch off. Sugar snap peas, yeah, that's it. Um, so Casper then pulls a bit of the tree off, so leaf and all, dumps it at your feet and says, play, you know, play. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure what the harvest of apples is going to be like. Certainly everything from a metre off the floor, will there won't be any because he's nicked them all, but certainly higher up the tree, there's lots of uh, nice looking apples, but they're not ready yet. So yeah, it's good. And I know lots of you, <clears throat> in lockdown have been growing vegetables inside and out and that's really really good oh Andy says it's mange too oh there you go Percy is on the case ha 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 mange too but really nice so um yeah it's fun to do different things and I think that's one of the good things that's come out of lockdown is that people have been growing different things which is nice we've never really done much veg growing we don't have time so anyway have an amazing Friday. I hope to see lots of you at 9.30 when we're talking vegetables um, and, um, and others of you at 10 o'clock for Pilates. So keep in touch. It's always good to keep in touch. And um, Darcy eats the gooseberries. Well, it's funny you say that because I think it's, we've got gooseberries, but the birds have eaten them all. So it's not Darcy, it's our, our birds have eaten all the gooseberries, but um, uh, the black currants have done very well black currants have done very well the rhubarb is fine i haven't picked it for ages i think it's probably over just walk to topsham how lovely topsham is looking beautiful i was there yesterday it's very nice very nice very nice right enjoy yourself today everyone and i will speak to you again very soon bye